This is cauliflower curry. Mmm, mamma mia. Rinse the cauliflower, pat it dry, cut it into small flowers, and set it aside. Drain and rinse the chickpeas, then set them aside. And then to a large pot or Dutch oven, add extra virgin olive oil and finely chopped onion. Fry on low heat for three minutes, then add grated garlic and grated ginger. Fry for another minute, then we toast the spices. Set the heat to low, then add curry powder, cumin seeds, red pepper flake, turmeric powder, and ground coriander. Now add the black pepper and toast the spices on low heat for about a minute. Now add the rinsed chickpeas and the cauliflower flowers. Give it a quick stir, then add the vegetable broth, a can of crushed tomatoes, and salt. Now simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes with the lid on. Then when the cauliflower is almost ready, add the coconut milk. Simmer for 10 more minutes until the cauliflower is fork tender. Blend some of it, not much, with an immersion blender. And then add garam masala and you're done. Look at this. Serve it on a plate with basmati rice, some fresh coriander or parsley, pinch of garam masala, freshly squeezed lemon juice, and...